In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul of the Celtic Orthodox Church, and this is the good news. Christ is in our midst. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 6, verses 16 through to 23. Moreover, when you fast, do not be like the hypocrites, with a sad countenance, for they disfigure their faces, that they might appear to men to be fasting. Assuredly, I say to you, they have their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face, so that you do not appear to men to be fasting. But to your Father, who is in the secret place, and your Father, who sees in secret, will reward you openly. Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust destroys, and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasure in heaven, where neither moth nor rust destroys, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. The lamp of the body is the eye. If therefore your eye is good, your whole body will be good, but will be full of light. But if your eye is bad, your whole body will be full of darkness. Therefore, the light that is in you is darkness. How great is that darkness. Glory to you, O God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Help us in the understanding of your words and your teachings, that we can be true followers of yours. In the scripture reading today from St. Matthew, there are two points, I guess you can say. One part, the first part, relates to fasting. The church urges us to pray and fast, yes. So we could focus in on God and godly things. Fasting. Preparation for special occasions, for great feasts, for example, Easter, or maybe Christmas, the birth of our dear Lord. So Jesus tells us when we fast, don't make out <clears throat> to the world that we are fasting. Do the opposite. Make yourself look good. And then in the second part of this reading, we are urged to trust totally in God. Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroys and where thieves break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Jesus is telling us if we lay up treasure here on earth, that's all we're going to be caring about. That's all we're going to focus on. Yes, this is not what we're supposed to be doing. We focus on the kingdom of God. Focus on God. All our good works, the treasures we accumulate, will not be here on earth, but in our heavenly home. And when we finally go there, when God calls us, it'll be there ready for us. No one can steal from us, rob us, cheat us out of our wealth. 
because it's in heaven. There's where we must focus on. Not in the local bank or whatever. No. Focus. Focus on God. Focus on the kingdom of God. And lay up treasures there. Not here. So there are two points we need to remember. How we fast. Not to make out that we are fasting. And where to lay up our treasures. Not on earth. But in heaven. I urge you all to pray. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you. To guide you. In this way. That you will understand what it means. To trust totally in God. Also in that little section it just talks about. The lamp of the body is the eye. If therefore your eye is good, your whole body will be full of light. But if it's dark, that darkness is what's inside. Dark thoughts, dark images, you will be in darkness. This world is full of darkness. You don't have to look very far to find it. Yes, terrible things. We must focus on the light. We must focus on God and the kingdom of God, where all is light. Yes, all is light. And then we too will be children of the light, not children of darkness. Pray, pray to the Holy Spirit to help you understand this. And give God the glory for all things in your lives. Glory to God for all things. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. 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 Most Holy Theotokos, save us.